Project Exploration presents 15 for 15, celebrating 15 extraordinary years with 15 extraordinary people who make it all happen. My name is Elsa Rodriguez and I am the Programs Manager for the Hive Chicago Learning Network and I am a Project Exploration alumna. It was my sister who was a University of Chicago um, alumni and she heard about the program I think then in conjunction a lot more closely with the University of Chicago and then I met Gabe um, and then from that point forward Gabe was my teacher, facilitator, um, running Project Exploration, and so she became my point of contact um, to the organization throughout that span of 2001 to now. Biomechanics and you know all these big buzz science words that just didn't sound very exciting to me at the time that I was being forced to apply to this program. Uh, but then, you know, the second summer I was very willingly applying to something called Advanced Paleontologist. Um, so I majored in Earth Sciences, so most places call that geology. I don't know uh, why we don't, but um, that was definitely a direct output of the Advanced Paleontologist program. I think I realized um, partway through college that I would not be a scientist necessarily. It wasn't, there was definitely experiential learning and project-based learning I really liked and I liked that experience of it, um, but I didn't want to be a, a practicing scientist. And in that process, I discovered that I really enjoyed doing project-based learning and experiential learning with youth. So that um, coming out of college, I definitely had that in mind as something to explore. And that led me to City Year, uh, where I was a core member for a year there. Then that led me back to Project Exploration on the program side of things. My favorite experience is forcing teens to write as a program's manager or facilitator, and then actually seeing the effect that could have and opening dialogue or learning something about them that otherwise would have never come up. Well, for some reason, the second day, whatever the prompt was, had like a, tier, a class of like tearful teens and it was just, they, and they loved writing from that point on. So it was just very interesting to see them um, get excited about the fact that they're all, they all have these shared emotions. That leads me to this work and I think that we're, we're really serving a network of adults serving youth as a hive learning network. Um, but the way that, that the adults serving, are serving youth is in this very youth development model using critical thinking and inquiry. Seeing how young people who stay connected to Project Exploration throughout you know, either high school or college, um, in particular just wanting to know what's happening with the organization, you know, with changes taking place, um, it just being really hungry for information, like it's a family member that they want to know about. Um, I, as a staff person, as a student, kind of being in both those shoes, that realization hit me as this is very important to all these young people to know about, you know, it's which is a big responsibility for an organization, um, but it's definitely, it's definitely seen that way as, as something very close to home.